Duff. Once there was a mother and a daughter who loved each other very much. One evening the daughter was studying. The mother said, please set the table for dinner. In a minute, Mom. How about now? You are always so angry. Then the mother, who was sure she hadn't been angry, got angry. Come in here right now and help me. And with just a few more words, they were both definitely angry. It's hard to think when you're angry, but mother tried. She tried hard. She took a deep breath and said, why did you get mad at me? Because you were cross with me. Oh. There was a long pause. I thought I was saying, why don't you come in here and help me? That sounds pleasant. But you sure sounded angry to me. I think, I think I know why. Uh, up in my mind, the words sound pleasant. But coming out of my mouth, the words pick up some stuff. Stuff? You know. Old irritations and loose resentments. All that kind of stuff lying around inside us. I've repressed them so I can't see or hear them. But you can hear them. I sure can. Yes, you hear a lot of stuff. That's because when it goes in your ears, it also picks up your stuff. Uh-oh, my resentments? I'm afraid we all have them. They are birds in our interior fur. We need to help each other pull them off. Combing hurts, but I want my fur smooth. Combing and burr picking does hurt. It's hard. But we have so much to gain. We won't be cross anymore? Picking burrs is painful, so we might still get cross. But as we reduce the burrs, we may sound as loving as we are. Make this your common practice. Confess your sins, birds, to each other. And pray for each other so that you can live together whole and healed. James 5.15